Hi y'all, this shadow box is from Dollar Tree and I started a project with it and I didn't wanna buy another one so I'm just gonna use the back of it. I'll finish the other side another time. I'm gonna take this beautiful scrapbook paper I found at Hobby Lobby. It's got such a vintage or antique look to it so that's the theme I'm gonna go with. I'm just gonna put some Mod Podge down on the board and put the paper on that and smooth it down. This is a doily from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna take some paint mix it with a little water and just start dry brushing it onto my doily. I just wanna give it a kind of an antique and patina look to it. It eventually gets there. So once I get all this down and it dries, I flip it over, put some Mod Podge on, and then I place that on top of the board. And I did have to pat it down for a while. Now I'm gonna take this pretty canvas I got at Dollar Tree. You know I love crafting with these things. For $1.25, they just are so handy to have. So I just cut the little bird out and I'm putting some more white in the middle because I was a little heavy handed on the green and I wanted the bird to show up. And I'm just using Aileen's tacky glue to adhere the bird down. And I just touched up the bird to make him pop a little bit with some paint. And then this is a little greenery stem I have and I just painted the stem brown just so it's more realistic when I put it down as a branch. And I put those underneath the bird and the tail is actually just flying in the breeze. Um, and I just glued that down with some hot glue and put the leaves on one by one how I thought they looked good. And then I took my sanding block and scuffed up all the edges and sides and then further enhanced that scuffy look by putting some paint over that. It just looks really good at the end. I use different colors too. I know this sounds weird, but I painted a piece of copy paper, ran it through my printer and printed out, I will sing of the goodness of God. I created it in Word. And then I took a paintbrush and some water and I'm gonna go around that so I can rip it apart to make a feathery look to this instead of just cutting it with a straight edge, which you can do if you want to, but I love this technique so much. Once I got it where I want it, I grabbed a piece of spare material that I have and I just measure out where I need to rip it and I just rip it down to size and then using Aileen's Tacky Glue, and you can get this at Dollar Tree, it's just glue. Um, I use that to adhere everything together and then put the whole thing down to my project. And then I grab my furniture tacks and I didn't need the points to them, so I'm just snipping them off with my wire cutters, super easy to do. And I hot glue them down to each corner and this just finishes off this little phrase, so great and adds that little special something to the project. And then I took this rusty knob. I'm not sure where I got it, but I used hot glue and super glue to adhere it to the top. And y'all, that's it. I love how this turned out. And I'm not real sure if I hit the mark on the antique or vintage look to this, um, but it does fit my decor pretty well. And the saying that I chose to put on it is just everything to me. And I will sing of the goodness of God because he is my everything. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments. But if you don't have a nice comment to leave, try not to just leave any comment. I do ask for your opinion, but some of you have been a little abrasive. <laughs> so there's a limit. Anyway, don't forget to share this around. Love you guys. Bye.